Hey, good morning, Scott. This is a quick demo video for you for your custom MHS Sabre. Um, I was not able to show you the Bluetooth functionality when I did the actual overhead demo, which is something that I do before I do this part. So what we're gonna do real quick before we go and look at your Sabre overhead is I'm gonna take this chassis out and show you that the Bluetooth function works. All right, so I've got a battery in it already from the demo. We're gonna go ahead and flip it on. Yep. See your blue light indicator for your Bluetooth here. I'm just going to go to my ForSync app on my phone. When you initially do this and the screen pops up and it asks for you to, uh, to put in a code to pair, you don't have to put in a code, just hit pair. All right, and then tap from all the different boards. Go to the Profi one. I'm going to go to remote control and turn it on. Flash. Lock up. All right, and turn it back off. So the Bluetooth function is working very well in this guy. And then we'll just go ahead and flip the kill switch out. Off, rather. I'll take my battery out. And from here, we can go over, uh, over top of my desk and take a look in detail at your saber. Hey, good morning, Scott. So here we've got your MHS Sabre that you sent me. This has a very cool custom control box that you sent along with it. Uh, first time I had ever seen anything like this. So it is installed with a Profi and a removable chassis, as you know from the pictures that I sent you. Uh, blade retention screw being right here, that's an 832 drilled and tap. And then this is set up for a one inch blade. All right, so we'll put a blade in here in a second. Um, you had sent this to me and asked me to figure out how to put it on. So it wasn't that big of a deal. I did do some extra milling on the underside of this brass control box just for some wire management. Um, milled a slot on the underside to the actual saber so the wires could drop down in there. Uh, you sent one dome tactile switch. So I matched that with a second dome tactile switch. All right, so your, your front one will be power. Your back will be auxiliary. Um, you've got that stock piece in there that you sent me and then how to get to your chassis is you just want to unscrew your pummel when you take off your pummel you'll notice I have a little spacer in here it's glued in uh, and it doesn't come out all right that gray piece right there that's just to push the chassis up a little bit so um, you shouldn't ever see that falling out and uh, you probably wouldn't even notice it all right so we put that off to the side your chassis falls right out here and this is what you've got. This is printed out of gray carbon fiber, um, a removable battery setup. So spring side for your negative over here, your profi board that you provided here, um, access to your SD card and your micro USB from right here. So you do not need to move the board, although it is just a snap fit down into the shelf. You could pop it up if you wanted to, um, but there's no need to do that. One thing that I neglected to mention in my post is that you would also send me a Bluetooth module that is located underneath the board. You won't see it here, but when I put the battery in and I flip the kill switch, which is right here, you will see the blue indicator light for the, uh, for the Bluetooth shining right underneath these holes on the board that I did not solder to. All right, you've got the 28 millimeter speaker that you provided, this one being from TCSS. Um, haven't seen one of these in a while, but those are the ones um, that have the adhesive on the front side of the speaker. I take all that off because it's not necessary to have that. All right, so put that in there fully enclosed so it sounds really good. And then you're running um, Smuggler's Outpost Switch Pixel PCB set. So that, that piece right there matches up with that guy. And that's how we make power to the blade. All right, so we're going to take our battery put it in, come over here and flip this on. And you can see that blue indicator light. If I turn this light off, it's easier to see that. Um, I record this portion of the demo with my phone, so I will not be able to show you the Bluetooth functionality now, but when I record the intro, which I do after this, um, I'll show you that that works. All right, but when you put that in there, you can take this guy and you can put it in it in any way you want. Just throw it right in. Come over here, take your pummel, screw it in, 
tighten it down all the way and then come over here and hit power. Auxiliary. I attach the control box with two 832 screws. Um, these are normal button head screws. If I can focus in on that, maybe not. I didn't like how far they were sticking out though. So I did put them on my lathe and I machined down those heads a little bit. So it looked a little bit more like it was supposed to be there and a little bit more custom. So I hope that you like the way that that came out. But let's put a blade in, one inch diameter blade. Push that down against the pins. Come over here and lock it down and then hit power. All right. Blaster bolt deflex is tapping auxiliary. Blade lockup is holding the auxiliary button down and hitting the saber. All right. You want to change color, hold down auxiliary and tap power. Now you can just twist the saber to whatever color you like. Of course, this one has an unstable blade, but if we like that green one, we'll hit power. You've got twist off, but when you turn it back on, it'll be green. All right. Good flash on flash. This just has my sound font on it for now. Uh, there is a copy of the config file on the SD card, so if you want to make changes from that, you can use that. It is a, a fairly basic two-button setup, so it should be very easy to follow. Um, if you had multiple sound fonts on there, though, and you wanted to go to the next one, you just tap auxiliary. Apologize. All right. <laughs> and if you want to play your soundtrack for each font that has one, do a long press on the power. All right, do another long press to turn that off. Just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll break this back down. This is my test blade, so it's a little, it's a shorter than usual, but your particular saber is set up for a full length blade. All right, and we come over here, unscrew the pommel. Of course, you can leave your battery in. I'm gonna turn this on real quick before I take it out. You can leave your battery in until it's time to charge it. You just gotta flip the kill switch. And you can see that it's on until we flip the power here and then we're good to go. All right, so that is basically uh, your custom MHS Saber. Let me know if you have any questions and I will get this out in the mail actually to you today. Thanks, man.